So, hey, welcome back. And this one, I'll tell you how I make this super cool looking cologne <laughs> by one and only Marvedo. And here we have a basic scene. I'll select all with A and X to delete them all. And then with Shift A, I'll add and I'll click Control 3 to add subdivision surface, you know, just to make it smoother. And then it will look something like this. <laughs> these are shading issues to solve these i'll select both of these edge lines top one and the bottom one with alt and shift and then i'll hit ctrl p and by changing your middle mouse button you will add more look than with ctrl a i'll apply all the transforms scale rotation and location all the transforms the next thing we should do is obviously you can see we have some shading issues here so for that i'll hit i to insert the face and it's fixed now yep you can add some more if you want to coming back to right view you can click one or three whichever you you like all right and again i'll select the face then again hitting i to insert it and finding the best possible result which i can get then extrude it out with e and then again hitting ctrl v to bevel those out pretty simple right right click and shade smooth you can do some changes by hitting g twice uh, with that you will have full control over the edge sliding so you can basically slide your edges um, again holding alt to select all the edge and then double type G to slide those edges. Now again, selecting our top face and extruding it inwards. Why I'm doing this is because this bottle, uh, which is made up of glass and we don't have the solidify modifier enabled. So in order to get that thickness, we'll be extruding it inwards. All right. And then again hitting E, but this time hitting S also to extrude it sideways. And now again hitting E to extrude it again, something like. Again, you can see there are some shading issues. Hit Control B and voila, it's gone. Easy peasy, right? As you can see from upper part, the inside of the bottle is again like this. That's again because of the loop cuts and subdivision modifier which we have. For that, I'll again hit Ctrl B to add a bevel and also add a loop cut. But right now, as you can see, the loop cut is adding to the outside of the bottle, which you don't want. So right now, we can do one thing in edit mode specifically. We can select face and then hide it. All right. Again, selecting with Alt and then click Ctrl R to add a loop cut. And now you can see our inside of the bottle is also ready and then again hit alt h to unhide the objects now as you can see again we have these problems due to subdivision surface sometimes it's not a problem but sometimes it is you know again adding some loop cuts to make it sharp edge to make the edge sharper and now we have this kind of open gap sort of thing so what I'll do is, now we need to make cap. So I'll select this loop cut and hit shift S to add the cursor here. And now we will add a sphere. Why I'm adding sphere, as you can see in the cap, if I would have done it with cylinder, it would have taken a long time. But with sphere, just see, I'll first scale it to the size which I wanted. Then again, G and Z to grab it and now in the edit mode i'll select all the bottom vertices and then delete them with x and selecting vertices and then again alt clicking to select the edge bringing those down by hitting z or z whatever you want to call it something like this well i think this is looking pretty much good making some slight changes with g grabbing it and then shade auto smooth do the same thing with our bottle 
now our basic structure is ready but still i think we can do some stuff like increasing its size uh to increase its size only on x and y axis not on z axis what we can do is we can hit s to increase the scale and then uh, select or hold shift z and then it will lock z axis and it will only increase its scale on x and y axis like this doing the same thing with the cap all right looking better select both of these and hit and apply the transform by hitting again control a and selecting all transform and then we'll parent the cap to the bottle by selecting the cap and then shift selecting the bottle and hitting control p and then keep object you can try all of these by your own and see whichever result you get and learn from that don't forget to save it i tried a lot to find this uh, by redo font but i was not able to get it so instead i just used sans serif font basic sans serif which comes with microsoft you know then again adding a plane with shift a adding plane applying the scale increasing its scale all right and then taking a bottle and rotating it on the x axis pretty much like this and then bring it bringing it above and by the way i'm holding control that's why it's snapping uh, to the grid if you will hold control then it will snap it to every 5 degree all right adding camera shift a camera then selecting resolution making it 1000 if you will uh, drag your cursor then you can select many values in render it's like this okay changing the focal length now as you can see to make it in the center of the camera we can use composition guides which is present in the viewport display check your limits show limits and composition guide check thirds in center all right now we can center this and then again increase the focal length something like this and adjust or tweak the camera according to you how you want now going to the render properties and here choosing cycles instead of ev and also gpu instead of cpu and the world properties i didn't change anything uh that's because i wanted to keep it like it as is so instead what i did was i added a cube first i obviously increase the scale of the plane but then i added a cube and you can see shift a and then adding cube increasing its size till the camera can see it so increasing size on z axis and something like this then adding a area light increasing its power to something like 1000 changing its position also it's really up you don't want that much so instead i'll change its position to make its position a bit you know and area light works best in, in this case because it kind of uh, produces soft box light and then increase the power to 1000 because it's really low at this time and as you can see it's looking so good the cycles itself is this makes linder look so good uh adding uh open uh, opening a new viewport dis viewport display yeah it is viewport display i think we can call it that or maybe new panel of viewport display on the left side you can see i have put in this render view and in the right side i have this model view now adding some materials changing this principal bgf to glass and changing the roughness not to zero okay increase it just a tad bit don't make it pure like zero glass is never like that doing the same thing with the cap making it black instead of white okay save it again and again because it can crash at any time and then change the color to black yeah like this so again our main structure is ready right but still a bottle is not looking like the bottle which is there in this image why is that that's because there is liquid in it i'll not be showing you how to add liquid and because it's glass so we'll be adding some uh, caustics how you can do that is uh, i have selected my bottle i think no yeah i've selected my flow and i'll go to object data properties and in here in shading 
you can see we have a receive shadow caustex in our main bottle again go to this object data properties and in shading choose cast data uh, cast shadow caustex okay so what will happen is a bottle will cast shadow caustex due to the light and we also have to enable uh, caustex in light okay so blender got stuck and i have to restart it all again because of this shadow caustic thing but as you can see right now it's working properly uh, and it's looking good so again tweak with your lighting settings adjust it make it maybe bright or maybe less bright position it wherever you want to in the space you have the whole you know 3d world all right i think that it is looking fine right now we are not just copying the image that it is uh, like it's shown in pure ref you can add your own stylization but just to get the basic idea you need to you know change all of it and now we are adding the liquid which i told you so yeah what we will do is we will select our main bottle i'll go in solid view Again, I'll select all of the outside uh, like faces and I'll or instead what I'll do is I'll select my this bottom face. Yep, this one and then hit control and numpad plus button. What that will do is that will select all the uh, faces above that face. Okay, something like this. I'll select this hit shift D to duplicate it and then type P. And then choose selection okay now this particular piece or part has been separated from the body as you can see we have this new cylinder one okay so right now let's just quickly gives names to all of our objects or pieces this is our liquid this is our flow this is our main bottle and all of these things we'll select and as you can see again we have some shading issues then again doing the same thing Hitting Ctrl B to add a bevel, which will add some supporting loop cuts, which will helping not averaging out those vertices due to subdivision surface modifier. And now we'll delete uh, this particular material. All right, and as you can see, again we are seeing some uh, issues in the render view. So I'll come to that later. First, let's me just add this volume absorption material. All right, I'll set this origin its origin to origin to geometry, and then uh, you know scale it down a bit. And now you can see our shading problems has been vanished. All right, and I'll also check receive. Caustic shadows or shadow caustics, whatever it is. All right, I'm doing the same thing with the main bottle also. The next thing is changing its color. Then again, I'll add a new uh, window, which will be a shader editor. You can hit Shift three, F three. Okay, and now this volume was not working because its output was connected to the surface material output which is wrong which we don't want so i need to manually change it from surface to volume and now as you can see it's working let's add or give this a uh, color you can do that by going to this color okay so blender cannot i like choose adopter to external softwares no issue changing its density you know however you like and as you can see we are having this kind of effect which is looking really really cool still there are many things to do but you can play with it okay volume absorption is the best which like which represents the liquid i think again it should just look good okay physical accuracy doesn't matter right now playing with saturation playing with values i just did too much 10 is a lot all right 
and tweaking the settings and i think i got the perfect color which i wanted and then again duplicating our uh, disk area light okay and then putting is putting it over there which will act as a backlight or you can say like secondary light basically it's not that important in the scene but still it's important again playing with the density i think 1.3 looks best to me coming to the properties enabling denoise or maybe disabling it yeah you can see in the view this is obviously recorded earlier and i'm voice overing it later now again you can see that there are some issues in our liquid well that's because it's looking too perfect which we don't want as you can see in the reference image also it's not that perfect okay so you need to make it a little unperfect i don't think that's a word maybe so what i'll do is i'll bring all of these edges i'll just slide it a little down again holding alt to select all uh, like the whole edge and then the tapping double g tapping g twice to slide them doing the same thing over here and as you can see in the render view port we are seeing the results so i'll do one more thing yeah uh, but we have to do the same thing to the inner part of the main bottle why is that it is just like that okay so i tried proportional editing but it was not working because we had like other vertices also uh, i tried by hiding them also but still it was not working so instead i just did it manually okay the same way which we uh, change the position of our liquids vertices i did it the same way and coming over to the render properties okay so now let's add the text which is written over there by it over and then new extra the perfume so how can we add it lots because uh, again hitting shift plus a and adding a text well, by the way i have already like selected my cursor 3d cursor uh, put it to my choice of vertice which i wanted <laughs> okay yeah and here you can see we have this text hit tab and you can type anything because in edit mode you can type anything so i'll type here burrito or whatever it is like pronounced i don't know b y r e t o okay scale it down a bit something like this bringing it down over yeah something like this and then adding this shrink wrap modifier uh then obviously playing with this offset because now you can see it's not showing on the surface there is some kind of reason for that but right now <laughs> i don't know just play with this offset okay yeah you obviously you have to choose your target okay main ta our target is main bottle and then offset it a bit like this i think but still there is something which i need to change i think because it's not looking that good so what we can do is basically instead of this uh like snap mode from on surface we can change it maybe outside uh, still not working so outside surface yep pretty good working fine again changing its offset just a tad bit 0.001 that worked fine i tried other solutions also but 0.001 is the best all right duplicating it i can go into tab mode and writing this rene the nue reno rone whatever it's called i don't know placing it by hitting g x and obviously scaling it okay like doing all the settings as you can see right now which we have done over here looking pretty good
now what we need to do is we can change its uh, font and again the font which i used was sans serif i told you this earlier microsoft sans serif regular yep something like this i tried to play with the offset and everything but i didn't like it but in spacing you know the tracking option which you usually have in the text uh, you can do the same in blender and going to spacing and in character spacing okay in the material i added a material and you know tried making it metallic but then i remember it's a text <laughs> okay so i just made it look gray selecting it hitting control l to link the materials pretty simple pretty basic okay again duplicating it for this extra the perfume extra the perfume whatever it's called again i don't know after entering it your basic model will look something like this i think it's looking pretty good in the next video we'll be making an animation with this model i'll give it a quick final render with the resolution of maybe 1000 by 1000 or 2000 by 2000 i don't know you can even go to 8000 by 1000 if your pc can handle it so yeah and you can even do some changes if you want to and finally it will look something like this well guys that was pretty much it for this cologne bottle which you made in blender 3d i think that i would able i was able to add some value to you guys and that was pretty much it see you in the next one peace out yeah one final thing if you want the templates for the titles or any kind of templates head to the link provided in the description below you will be finding all those material assets and everything in that description and also if you want a detailed tutorial or detailed explanation of this one so you can head up to my patreon the link is provided in the description below okay see ya